Well, this is where it all started in 2005. This is the ramp, Halsey Ramp. I remember just like yesterday, this is where all the pros are gonna launch. Makes chills run down my back thinking about it. I wish I was in it this year, but I can't believe it's 14 years since we had the last FLW Cup right here. And this area right here, not very far, over, not over a mile away from the ramp, this is a key area of the lake. It's got all kinds of cover points, weed beds, drop-offs, and this could be one big area real close to the ramp where a lot of the fishermen will be fishing in this cup. And also in this, this big flat area of the lake, there's a lot of, we call it bass weeds that grow around the bank. I don't know the real name for it, but that's whatever all the locals call it, bass weeds. There'll be a lot of fishermen fishing these weeds early in the morning in the tournament. And uh, you know, if you get the right stretch of weeds, you could probably catch a limit in 30 minutes. So it's gonna be a chess game for them to make their mind up what they wanna do, because you have weeds, you have a lot of brush in this lake on docks and off points, you have drop-offs they can fish, it could be, anybody's game in this tournament. Well, all over the lake, we have little islands all over the lake. Some are bigger than others, but all of them are good fishing because they have structure around them and a lot of brush. Uh, brush is gonna be a key thing in this tournament. They're around the docks, they're around the islands, they're out on the flats, they're on the drop-offs. So it'll be a key thing that a lot of the pros will be fishing. And it could be one right here off some of these islands that we're looking at right now. We're idling, you have to go five mile an hour any, anytime you go by a bridge and there's several bridges that cross the lake and that would be a key place people will be fishing around these bridges. There's always a lot of Kentuckys, good-sized Kentuckys around these bridges. In 2005, when I won the Cup, we had good depth finders, but nothing like they have today. Today, they're real, real, real good, and you can actually see br brush on the side imaging and things like we didn't have, and the trolling motors are better where you can put it on anchor mode once you find some fish. And like right here, I'm idling up to some brush piles by a boat dock right here. And you can see these, but a lot of them you can't see. And with this new electronics that all these good fishermen have today, they can really key in on all the brush that's not visible like this is. This is where the river really starts, way up on Lake Hamilton, and it goes for about six or seven miles, and it's narrow, long. It has a few pockets off of it, and up at the other end is the Washita Dam. And when they're generating, the water's real cool down here, and there'll probably be a lot of fish caught down here. There always is when they're generating because that cool water's coming from Lake Washita down to Lake Hamilton. So all these steep banks and what docks you see here, and little pockets, it's a good area of the lake and there could be some of the fishermen up here that do real well or maybe even the winter could come from up way up the river. Well, in this tournament, on Lake Hamilton, I think, even though it's August and it's a, one of the toughest times of the year to catch fish, I still think it's gonna take 35 to 40 pounds to win this tournament. And there'll be somebody catch a lot of good fish. There always is. And there's one thing I know, whoever wins the cup 
it's going to change their life because it did me and it's one of the biggest tournaments that they'll ever fish in their life and it means more to me winning one and to the next guy that wins the cup.